In this tutorial, we're going to add a bulleted list to our document. I've already gone ahead and launched it so we can get right down to business. Under the first motto, Power Through Intelligence, I want to add the words spiritually, physically, and intellectually to appear as a bulleted list. To make this work, I need to place each of those words on their own line. So I'm going to click in front of each of the words and press the enter button. Now I'm going to modify and change my punctuation just so it better fits with the list formatting. Okay, to change the set of words into a list, select the lines of text and go up into your toolbar and click on the bulleted list icon. It's the one that has three dots followed by some dashes. If you can't see this icon, it's probably under your more button. Another place you can access lists from is from the menu bar under format lists right here. Okay. By just clicking the bullets icon, it converts your text into a bulleted list. Great. But say I wanted to use arrows instead of bullets. Do you see this small triangle beside our bullet icon? Click it to reveal many additional options such as checkboxes and stars. I like the look of the regular bullet, so I'm just going to leave it how it is. The next step is I want to add a numbered list to the motto, Love Through Service. I start the same way by placing the words fun, adventure, and service on their own lines and tidying up the punctuation and the grammar. Okay, now look at your bulleted list button. You'll notice that right next to it is the numbered list icon. There's also a small triangle for this one so you can modify the look and change the type, but the default numbered list is exactly what I want, so I'll choose the first option. There. That's all there is to adding lists. Now, when somebody wants to quickly glance at the most important ideas, they're not required to read the entire page. Using bullets and numbered lists is a great way to improve the functional look of your documents. In the next video, we'll look at indenting our text. I'll see you there.